Hello Internet, my name is Aqua and welcome to the Ruby Volume 4 World of Remnant 3 Reaction, which is Atlas, which is what I was hoping for. I actually already recorded this once, but I had my microphone plugged into a USB 3.0 port and it didn't like that, and so I lost all the audio. So here I am, watching it for the second time, recording now for you. So I might be doing a lot more talking than the other ones because I've already like seen the information. I can do some uh, good theory stuff. It's also very late and I'm very tired, so if I'm a bit off, that's why. Let's get started, shall we? We're gonna go forward in three, two, one, play. Ruby World Remnant. Atlas. Atlas. The northernmost continent. In Remnant. I suppose it's time we talked about the fine people at the top of the world. The super rich. All of them. Atlas Every is Remnant's one of them. youngest and arguably most successful kingdom, but it's a bit of a special case. So special. Too, before the Great War, there was no Atlas. There was Mantle. At some point Mantle's pretty in time, cool. a group of settlers were crazy enough. I to think they talked about that during the actual show as well. Solitos. That Mantle yes, existed before that Atlas. Desperate, a frozen hunk of rock I'm not sure, but I think it's so. a bad place to call home. As a matter of fact. The harsh weather conditions proved to be just as How useful guys as get the in first place? I like swimming across the frozen ocean. Rampant bay. But it also kept the people of Mantle from flourishing. Humanity's got a neat trick up its sleeve, though. Dust. Whenever we're faced with a problem, our inclination is so to much dust. The cold climate of Salatas forced its settlers. Salatas. That's the name of the continent. Okay. They developed a more advanced technology. So I was curious if this is where they first found dust at. I don't think it would be, but but it was the Great War. They certainly found a lot of it because army, military, technology, and weaponry allowed Mantle to expand. More and more territory was set aside for dust mining and research. The territory beside the Kingdom's oh, the combat dust. school, Alcius, was the, the most dust. opportune area to construct a new R&D facility. But by the time things were all said and done, it would be much, much more. I wonder if that tower... Alcius was reopened as Atlas I guess it was Alcius that showed there. I wonder if that tower the that they showed was uh, the first the communications tower. Give back. The citizens. So no Weiss has talked about it. It was the first one. Of new dust techniques and technologies that had used in the war to beef up the academy's campus. The school grounds expanded. Well, it's really interesting that like imagined. the school kind of started Atlas. Even helped the they're the ones using all the dust and like areas. researching dust and stuff like that. And started as Halcyon, which is a cool name. In. Then the labs. And so I'm pretty sure the dude on the right there is even residential. Papa Shani, whatever his name may be. In time. Why is his dad? Apparent that the city of Mantle was living in Atlas' shadow, and so the decision was made to move the kingdom's capital. I'm Mantle really curious if Mantle still exists. Atlas. It kind of seems that way, Atlas but born. no, we haven't really heard much about Mantle so far. But those left behind in Mantle would probably tell you that it was the coldest winter they ever knew. So that. I really enjoyed this episode because, like I said before, uh, this was the kingdom I wanted to know the most about because, like, it seemed like a lot of the technology and a lot of a lot of stuff came from Atlas. The first communications tower was put in Atlas. Uh, a lot of the you know dust research is happening in Atlas. There's also the SDC there, which is apparently in some way part of the military. Like they seem to be kind of like working together, which makes sense because you know the SDC would be providing the military dust and the military would be doing research stuff and like creating new stuff with dust it's a whole kind of like thing they got going on but i really can't wait to see how the people in the different kingdoms just like kind of live their lives normally because so far i've just seen Vale, which is it seems like a run-of-the-mill place it seems a lot like you know how we do things so far mistral and atlas seem pretty different from what we're used to so It'll be very cool to see how those people live their lives. And also stuff like the clothing and like, you know, the architecture and everything like that in different areas, because I'm sure that's like totally different from everything else. But we'll just have to wait until volume 4 to see that properly now, won't we? It's really cool to see 
just how Atlas became what it is today, just from like, people went up north to get away from the Grim, found dust, created the mantle, started the school of Halcyon, which is a really awesome name, I gotta say, expanded upon that, and created Atlas, and then moved from Mantle to Atlas. So I'm really curious to see if Mantle is still a thing, because we've seen from the other uh, kingdoms that there are smaller, like, cities around it, and it's kind of interesting also to note that the other kingdoms started as, like, we have this kingdom where we've, like, fortified our defenses and we're expanding from there, but here it's like we have this, like, smaller area and then we're expanding, like, so much that we're just, like, moving to somewhere else. So it's like the kingdom started here and it's, like, kind of, like, moving out. This is like the kingdom started here, and then it grew over here. So it's a lot different than the other kingdoms we've seen so far. Maybe Weiss will run away to Mantle trying to get away from her father and meet some unsavory types. Who knows? But again, we'll just have to wait until volume 4 to see that. So that'll do it for this video. Hopefully the audio will be fine this time. I'm watching it right now and it seems to be okay, so this video should be coming to you fairly soon. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and look forward to the next reaction, which will be Vacuo. Or we get to learn more stuff. But that'll be all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.